on uh, living standard series today, youth unemployment in Ghana has more than doubled from an average of 9.0% between 2017 and 2020 to 19.7% in 2021. Isaac Kwame Adai happens to be in this bracket. For four years, he has tried without success to get a job. However, out of frustration, he decided to pull all the stops to get the attention of the job market. Manithi Nyamiche Thompson met with him in our latest Living Standard series. It was a do or die affair. So I had no option. I have to do it. I'm hoping to get a job because either than that, I'll, I'll find myself in a, let's say a hot pan. All the time, I was thinking, even at night, sometimes I cry. Plenty questions, no answer. How come we sell the contract? On the streets of Accra Tuesday afternoon was an unusual sight. A dark young man gripped the attention of motorists and passers-by with the information on a placard he held. The inscription printed in bold red and blue colors read, Please, I need a job. Isaac Kwame Adai. Qualification, BSc Marine Science. Institution, University of Ghana. With his contact and photo. The frustrated unemployed graduate had to pull all the stops to get the attention of the job market after four years of a fruitless job hunt. The current economic hardship has worsened his plight. And with the placard, it's more or less like applying 100 jobs. I wanted to save money because I was spending a lot. The moment you do bundle, especially the hotspots, the moment you connect the hotspot, Within some few hours, it's finished. Isaac Kwame Adai from Asan Cranberryman in the Western region sees himself as one of the few lucky to have made it out of his poor village to the University of Ghana in 2013. He managed to complete four years of university despite the odds of harsh city life and limited funds. Now, how to survive after his tertiary education was at the top of his agenda as he couldn't return to the poverty-stricken village he left behind. It's hard. Your money will get finished. You, you buy gari and then with sugar alone. Even with that, you don't have to eat early in the morning. Sometimes you wait uh, in the afternoon, let's say around one o'clock, you take it and then in the evening, you take some water and then life goes on. Uh, it's good for me to endure so that uh, I could get something, so that I'll forget about my all the endurance and then the pain. His first job was assisting at the Commonwealth Hall Library, where he had been a resident. It afforded him some allowance and accommodation while he hunted for other jobs. So 24-7, I, I worked there, I used the internet. So that was even the time I was applying more jobs. So every day I can apply more than five jobs, just a day, more than. So when they call me for interview, I go. Sometimes it's a bit challenging because you need transportation. You need transportation. It's the same money, you see, that little money. It was, it, was, it was really tough, but then I did all I could do. But still, it wasn't, it wasn't happening. Four years down the road, Isaac's hope of getting employed turned into heartbreak, frustration and depression. He then returned to his village, Asam Cranberryman. For months, he hid from friends to avoid queries. My money was finished. Even with that, that time, I had to sell my laptop and then leave to the village. So when I went there, uh, I started with uh, the, the farming, but it, it didn't go well. So I had to use a different approach, and I was very determined that uh, no matter what I do to get the job. So all the time, I was thinking, I was thinking, what can I do? 
So even at night, sometimes I cry. Realizing there were no prospects for him in the village, Isaac borrowed 400 CDs from his mother and a family friend and returned to Accra with a renewed determination to get a job, no matter what he had to do. So he came up with a placard idea. When I stood there, even though I wasn't so sure that in the end I will, I will get a helper, so I, I, it was a do or die affair. So I had no option, I have to do it. Nobody should stop me. My friends were saying that, oh, it's a big disgrace, and I said, I don't care, because that is all I have. And I won't listen to anything, irrespective of uh, people will see me, people will insult me. In the end, I'm looking at the positive side. Well, his efforts garnered some attention from employers who have been in talks with him. But he is yet to land a job. He has spent 280 CDs out of the 400 CDs he borrowed. With just 120 CDs remaining, Isaac is worried he might run out of funds soon. Eating once a day has helped him manage his funds better. But for how long? I make sure that I don't spend much and I don't eat much too. I'm, 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 just being, uh, I'm just enduring. But I'm hoping to get a job because either than that, I'll, I'll find myself in a, let's say a hot pan. The clock is ticking and Isaac hopes that this time he gets a job that will make his life easier. Well, I did. Well, I did. Well, I did. We're still live on Joy News today. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll bring you the very latest coming up on business.